Have you studied Brandon's fights yet? Have you watched them? Yeah, ones? definitely, definitely. Um, I watched the last. I, I like I like watching usually the last three fights because it's like you know. Um, you can't teach your old horse new tricks. You know what I mean? I'm not saying he's old, but if you've been fighting a certain way your whole career, basically that's how you're gonna fight me that night. So we just, um, I've been studying his last three fights, doing a little more tape than usual, watching my last fights too, see what things I can strengthen on, and um, just getting together a great game plan. Now, Danny, you, you mentioned about Keith Thurman's movement. If I can play devil's advocate just a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, have you added to the training camp some agility movement so you can that, cut the ring that, off and I mean I felt like I fought a great fight to be honest with you um his movement didn't bother me he just didn't engage like after the fourth round he was shadow boxing that's how it felt like like he came to fight the first three but you know I can't I don't blame him who wants to stand in front of me you know I me mean? so he gotta be dumb um but his movement didn't bother me I've been fighting guys moving since I don't know when I think my last five or six fights the movement never bothers me um, so I know how to cut the ring off. I know how to fight aggressively. I got great time, and so that didn't bother me. Danny, do you have any words for Brandon in Spanish? <laughs> what does that mean? Break your face. How frustrating. <laughs> yeah. what, do you think, what do you think about uh, the whole Sean Porter talk? Because he's been very vocal about you and he said he wanted to fight. Yeah. He said, I think he even said that they offered it something like that. But I've never what, been what offered to fight. Did I know of? It never been offered to me. It never it never came back to Danny Garcia. But I like that fight. I think that's a great fight for me. He comes forward, he likes to fight. I'm a great boxer counter puncher with power on both hands. And uh just be careful what you wish for. I, I gotta ask you a question. We have a storm here in LA. The whole world stopped. A rainstorm. Come on, guys. We just had a freaking a blizzard and a <laughs> snow sleet. So you being from Philly, what are you telling the people here? Man, y'all spoiled. Y'all gotta calm down, and relax. But the firestorm was bad though. Fire, yeah, 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 we don't get that. We don't get like the whole neighborhood on fire thing. But um, yeah, man, y'all good, man. It's rain. You need some rain. Make the flowers grow. So, Danny, what do you what do you tell Sean if he's watching? Final thing. It's been a lot of back and forth. What do you tell say, him? Be careful what you wish for. Because it can happen any day. And when it happens, just be ready for it. I'm, I'm ready for whatever. You surprised he's been so vocal about you in particular? I think it's more he just emotional. Like, like when he did that, when he did the last thing, he was already mashed up. Like, why are you talking about Danny Garcia if you already mashed up with somebody else? So, I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. You use my name to promote your fight. It is what it is. Do you think the WBC is actually lining you guys up? Because he's fought two title eliminators. This will be your one title eliminator. Does it make sense you guys fight top of the summer? It will make sense. But at the end of the day, I was the champion. So if anything, I get first. I get, I get, I get first shot at anything before anybody. Danny, you said um. It's just, it's just respect at that point. You feel me? Mm -hmm. 